Do you know someone who never stops dancing? Emily never stopped dancing. She would dance in the grocery store while her mother shopped. She danced in the shower. She even danced in her sleep sometimes. Her mother was getting concerned with her daughter's constant dancing as it was leaving her tired and ruining her school grades. Her mother took Emily to see a doctor. Emily danced around the room while the doctor tried to examine her, but what he found was truly terrifying. Emily had an earwig in her brain causing her to dance, but what was horrifying was it had laid many eggs that were beginning to hatch, they had begun to eat through Emily's brain. Her mother screamed in horror, Emily continued to dance uncontrollably until bugs began to pour from her eyes. Everyone ran for their lives as earwigs filled the hospital, Emily was never seen again. Do you know someone who always wears their hair up in a bun? Kendall always wore her hair up in a tight neat bun. She was a dancer so it kept her hair from falling into her face, but Kendall practiced dance 18 hours a day so she often forgot to let her hair down. She applied hairspray to her bun daily so it stayed firm and still, but it had been three weeks since Kendall had last washed her hair, her mother warned her of hair damage but Kendall didn't care. She was too busy perfecting her final dance piece. A fourth week went by, Kendall's bun had become rock solid, it didn't even move an inch while she danced, but something strange began to happen when her bun started moving on its own, everyone gasped in horror at the sight of 1,000 bugs pouring from Kendall's mouth as she tried to scream. Bugs had nested in her unwashed bun, but the hairspray made it impossible for them to escape so they ate through Kendall's brain, emerging out of her mouth. If you ever want pink hair, don't do what she did. Chloe loved changing her hair color, but she had never had pink hair before. She decided her sister's birthday was the perfect occasion, but she was running late and didn't have any pink hair dye. She racked her brain for last-minute ideas when suddenly she remembered the pink toilet bleach her mother bought last week. It was a lovely shade of pink, but Chloe was nervous as it contained many chemicals. She took the risk and covered her hair, using the whole bottle. She was so happy with the results, but when she stepped outside and the sun hit her lovely pink locks, her scalp began to burn a niche, it was on fire, Chloe screamed as her scalp melted off, she continued to melt until nothing was left of her but a pink puddle of bubbling acid. If you ever get a piercing don't do what she did. Georgia often thought about getting a piercing but whenever she asked her mother, she would react in a fit of anger. The answer was always no, Georgia was fed up of never getting her own way, so one day after school she snuck off to find a piercing shop. She looked at the options then asked for an eyebrow piercing, they refused to proceed as Georgia was underage. She ran home crying, but she had one idea left to try. She found a screwdriver, a nail and a hammer in her dad's toolbox, she was so excited but as she hit the screw it slipped and pierced right through Georgia's eye. She screamed in horror as her eye rolled across the floor. Do you know someone who never washes their ears? Caitlin never washed her ears, she hated the feeling of water getting inside so she covered them in the shower with earmuffs. Her mother would lose her in the shopping aisles and yell her name, but Caitlin couldn't hear her. Her ears were so dirty she was beginning to go deaf. Caitlin's mother took her to see a doctor. He examined Caitlin's ears but what he found sent shivers down his spine. Millions of termites had burrowed in Caitlin's ears causing her to go deaf. They had eaten chunks of her brain and they were beginning to emerge out of her nose. Her mother ran for her life as the bugs ate everything in sight. Caitlin was never seen again. Do you know someone who wants to dye their hair? Carrie always wanted long pink hair. It was her favorite color and her birthday was approaching so she begged her mother but she always laughed at Carrie and said no, her mother hated the color pink. Carrie snuck off to her friends one evening, she agreed to let her friend dye her hair but this would be a huge mistake. Carrie screamed in horror when she saw the results of her pink hair. Her friend had used toxic toilet bleach that had melted Carrie's hair off but what was worse is the dye had gone in Carrie's eyes. She screamed in horror as they fell out and rolled across the ground. Carrie's friend laughed hysterically, it was her plan all along. She wanted pink hair first. So she tricked Carrie and used the real hair dye on herself. Do you know someone who hates sharing?
Anna hated to share, her mother would yell at her and tell her to share with her sister, but she never listened. One evening Anna and her family went for pizza at a new restaurant in town. Anna ordered two giant margaritas for herself, but when the food came she found herself filled with a jealous rage when she saw what her sister had to eat. Her sister had two giant pineapple pizzas and ice cream. Anna begged her mother for ice cream, but she said no, she said Anna didn't deserve ice cream as she couldn't share. Anna stormed off in a jealous rage and set off a fire alarm causing the restaurant to evacuate. Anna snuck into the empty restaurant and ate everyone's food, she even ate everyone's ice cream too. When everyone came back inside after the false alarm, they screamed in horror. Anna had exploded. Her head rolled across the restaurant floor as her mother laughed hysterically. Do you know someone who hates pizza? Kara hated pizza, she especially hated pineapple on pizza, so when she found out her mother had taken her to the new pizzeria in town for her birthday, she was full of rage. She refused to eat her birthday dinner and threw a tantrum. Her mother was so embarrassed so she sent Kara home to her room without dinner. But Kara had other plans, she snuck into the kitchens of the restaurant and looked around for something to ruin the pizza mix so she could destroy everyone's food. But suddenly a bell rang and Kara fell into the pizza mix. She screamed in horror as she got mixed into the pizza ingredients and ended up becoming the main course. That evening the pizzeria received five stars. No one knew the secret ingredient was Kara. She was never seen again. However someone did find an earring in their food that evening. Do you know someone who never washes their hair? Chrissy never washed her hair, she hated waiting for it to dry so she avoided water on her hair at all costs. Her mother had noticed how smelly her hair had become recently and begged Chrissy to wash it, but Chrissy refused. She had put her hair up in a tight bun two years ago and hadn't taken it out since. This was because of how filthy and tangled it had become. Chrissy would dance around the garden and the bun wouldn't move an inch. But it did attract insects due to the stench. One morning Chrissy was looking in the mirror when she saw her bun begin to wiggle around. She called out to her mother, but she had already left for work. Chrissy let out a blood-curdling scream as billions of spiders began to crawl out of the bun and into her mouth. They ate her from the inside out. By the time her mother found her, there was nothing left except a hard bun of hair on the ground. Do you know someone who is always running late? April was always late for everything, she always ruined everyone's plans and never showed up on time to important events. Her mother was so fed up with her behavior that she had threatened to send her away to her grandparents' farm if she was late one more time. April hated farms and her grandmother's cooking so she was determined to turn up on time to her mother's birthday party, the only problem was, her hair was still wet from her shower and she needed to dry it immediately to avoid being late. April couldn't find the hairdryer anywhere and time was running out, she decided the fastest way would be to put her head in the oven, it was the hottest place in the house, but two minutes in her head exploded. Have you ever experienced a glitch in the matrix? Maddie and her sister loved pizza, they would go to their favorite restaurant with their mother every Friday after school. But one evening Maddie noticed her favorite pizza was no longer on the menu, she asked the owner why it had been removed, only to find out it had never existed there in the first place. But Maddie swore it did, she remembered getting it for the past few months. Her mother and sister just laughed it off like Maddie was crazy, but she knew something wasn't right. That's when she noticed something strange, her sister and mother didn't seem to be talking to her, it seemed like they didn't even know her. She asked if everything was okay, but they appeared confused, what her mother said next would haunt Maddie forever. Her mother said, yes dear everything is fine, we're just slightly confused as to why you sat with us, since we don't know you. Maddie apologized and ran away crying. No one remembered her. Do you know someone who loves to dance a little too much? Cherry loved to dance, she danced all the time no matter the situation. She would dance around the grocery store until the staff eventually banned her, her mother was so embarrassed. 
Cherry's mother decided to ban her from dancing in the house as she was always knocking things over and making a mess, Cherry was forced to practice her dance outside in the rain. One evening Cherry's mother was late home from work so she decided to practice in the kitchen, but this would be a terrible idea. Cherry's shoes were wet and slippery from the rain, causing her to slip into a box of tools. Her mother screamed in horror when she saw Cherry still practicing her dance when she got home. A tool had got stuck in her brain, causing her to dance forever. Her mother decided to put her in a museum, where she still dances to this day. Do you know someone who never washes their hair? Allison never washed her hair, she hated the feeling of it being wet so she would avoid it at all costs. Her mother couldn't bear the smell anymore. Insects would often be attracted to Allison's dirty locks. And her mother was terrified of bugs, so she decided to lock Allison outside in the garden for the night. It was said to rain later that evening, her mother knew it was the only way to get Allison's hair clean and free of insects. Allison begged and begged to be let in the house as she could feel raindrops begin to fall. But her mother ignored her pleas, leaving her out in the rain all night. In the morning her mother couldn't believe her eyes when she went to let Allison inside. She screamed in horror when she saw Allison being eaten alive by crickets. She was too late, it had only rained for a short time and her hair remained unwashed, but the crickets in the garden were starving. Do you know someone who loves to dye their hair bright colors? Sharon had the prettiest long blonde hair, her mother always begged her not to dye it and ruin the color but Sharon never listened. Sharon dyed her hair almost every day. She had been every color in the rainbow, her mother was furious as Sharon always got hair dye stains all over the house. Sharon wanted a new style but she was furious when she realized her mother had thrown away all her hair products, she stormed around the house searching for something she could use, as she had a party to attend later that evening. That's when she noticed her mother had left out some colorful cleaning products, Sharon mixed the chemicals together until she achieved a pretty color and smothered her hair in the mixture. But 10 minutes went by when Sharon realized her scalp was burning. She noticed smoke coming from the top of her head, she ran to the shower to wash it off but as she did the chemicals washed over her too, causing her skin to melt away, she screamed in horror as she realized the mistake she had made. The mixture she created was extremely toxic to humans, her mother came home to find a pile of bones in the shower and no sign of Sharon anywhere. She was never seen again. Do you know someone who never tells the truth? Olivia never told the truth, she would lie about almost everything. Her mother tried everything to get Olivia to be truthful, but she would always go back to telling lies. One evening Olivia and her family went for a meal, Olivia always got pineapple pizza, but when her food arrived she threw a tantrum insisting she hated pineapple pizza and had never ordered it before. She demanded to have her sister's margarita pizza as she refused to eat her own. Her mother was so embarrassed, she ordered another margarita and tried to continue enjoying her meal while Olivia and her sister went to fetch the food, but when Olivia returned she told her mother that her sister had been kidnapped and turned into pizza. Her mother scoffed and laughed at how silly Olivia's lies were becoming, but an hour went by and there was no sign of Olivia's sister. Her mother went to look around when she caught sight of something horrifying, she saw her daughter's earring on another customer's pizza, she screamed in horror, Olivia wasn't lying after all. Her ear was still attached to the earring. Do you know someone who eats too much cheese? Laura loved cheese, she loved every kind of cheese, but her favorite kind was when it was melted and stringy. She would always go to her favorite pizza restaurant after school and ask for extra cheese on her pizza with a side of melted cheese. Her mother would joke around and say, if you keep eating so much cheese you'll turn into the stuff. Laura laughed and gobbled up her pizza then went to wait for her mother by the car while she paid for the meals. But suddenly, Laura's tummy started to bubble and hurt, she began to feel sick, something was stuck in her throat, she began coughing up melted cheese, it started coming out of her ears, her mother screamed in horror when she found Laura, the melted cheese had wrapped around her and become solid. But the rats from the city had already begun eating her, until there was nothing left but bones. Do you know someone who always wears their hair up? 
Abby always wore her hair in a perfectly neat tidy bun every single day, she would drench her bun with hairspray to keep it firm and tidy. She had done this for two years, her mother begged her to wash her hair as it smelt terribly, but Abby loved her hairstyle so much she refused. She would always shower with a shower cap on so her bun never got wet. But one day something terrifying happened, Abby was at dance practice, she was dancing with her friends when all of a sudden she fell down, she complained of a sharp pain coming from the top of her head, everyone screamed as creepy long legs began to wiggle out of Abby's nose, then giant spiders began crawling out of Abby's mouth as she yelled for help, her bun was infested and with her bun being so solidified with hairspray, they had eaten their way out of Abby's head. Everyone ran for safety leaving Abby behind, she was never seen again. What would you do if you heard this in the middle of the night? Sarah was in her room one evening getting ready for bed, it was almost midnight when she was tidying up and getting her outfit ready for the next day. That's when she heard her name being called from outside her bedroom door, Sarah was instantly filled with fear as she knew her mother was away for work and her father and sister had gone to visit her grandmother. She stood in silence not sure whether to respond, the voice sounded like her mother, the voice called out again, come out honey, I have something to show you, Sarah stood in shock, her mother never called her honey, it was strange, something felt off about the situation. Sarah waited a while before she decided to open the door, but nothing was there, she looked around the whole house and found no sign of anyone being there at all. What called Sarah's name that night? What if it comes back? Has this ever happened to you? If so, leave your stories in the comments.